One of the most common questions that comes up in the comment section is what gear do I stop in then? Do I stop in first or second or can I stop in any gear? It's a very good question and I'm going to give you a very simple answer right now. Normally you should stop in second gear because stopping in second gear is more suitable to the speed that you're driving at just before you stop. It's always good to have the gears matching the speed. So that means if you're driving at 110 or 120 kilometers on a motorway, well then you should be in fifth or sixth gear. And as I said, if you're about to stop, uh, slowing down about to stop, then second gear is the best gear to correspond to the speed that you're driving at just before the car comes to a stop. Now there's always going to be exceptions, but that's the general advice anyway. I'm going to show you some clips now from when I was out driving yesterday and you're going to see me giving you a practical demonstration of how to stop a car properly and safely and I'm going to clearly explain what my hands and feet are doing as I'm stopping. So I'll be coming to a stop on the other side of the car park now and you'll notice that I'm going to keep my two hands on the wheel. The hand is not going to drop down to the gear stick. I'm also going to stay in second gear as well and um, you'll see that this will be the best and most efficient way <clears throat> to stop the car. So I'm just going to stop down here now, I'm going to straighten the wheel up first and I'm going to just stop kind of before that silver car there. So here's what I'm going to do, okay, just check the mirrors. So I'm going to press the brake lightly first and then a couple of seconds before I stop I'm going to put the clutch in there now. The car is going to roll to a nice gentle stop. Now if I want to move off straight away again I just go into first gear, I give it a little bit of acceleration, bring the clutch up and then off she moves like that. So there's no need to flick the car into neutral, to flick the gear stick into neutral I mean. There's no need to have a left hand resting on the gear stick, that's not going to do any good and if you're, you're going to lose marks on steering or on gears if you do that. So what I did back there was I kept two hands on the wheel to show the maximum control possible. Uh, I just brake first, clutch in and then because I wanted to move off pretty much straight away I just put it into first gear and just went this time now I'll be doing the same thing but I'll be using the handbrake instead because that's kind of the other alternative way of moving off depending on the junction of course so I'm gonna stop now so I'm gonna brake first clutch in a couple of seconds before I stop nice gentle stop two hands on the wheel as you'll notice now I'm gonna go handbrake first and now I'm gonna go into first gear and get the bite so I get a bit of acceleration clutch up you might see the feel the car lifting there and off I go again then nice steady feet moving off and that's the second way of moving off so that's like similar to the first way but I use the handbrake in the most recent time there I use the handbrake and that's just to illustrate that sometimes you could be stopped at a junction or roundabout or whatever and you may be on a slight hill so both ways are pretty much the same method of moving off but the most recent way I did there was uh, the handbrake just for extra security and just so the car doesn't roll back because all junctions are different I mean you, you, you might stop on the flat where you don't need the handbrake and on the hill then you do need it you have to kind of take each junction as it comes each road as it comes stopping again here now so brake first clutch in a couple of seconds before I stop two hands on the wheel as you'll see here nice gradual gentle stop and this time I'm going to secure the car so it's handbrake first and then neutral and that's the best way of doing it like if you're parking the car, for example, on the side of the road, you just stop like that. You, you, you pull in, brake first and clutch in, and then secure the car. Handbrake first, then neutral, and then whatever is next on your list of things to do then. As I said at the start of the video, there will always be exceptions to stopping in second gear. For example, let's say you're approaching a blind junction, and it's a blind yield junction. Like a blind roundabout, let's say. In that case, you may well be better off approaching and stopping in first gear if you need to stop because as I keep saying it all depends on the situation. Now I've made a great video on approaching certain junctions in first gear and creeping out in first gear and I'm going to leave a link in the description and the first pinned comment so make sure you watch that video after this because as always with driving there is no one size fits all rule you have to be flexible and practical and each situation is different. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't be afraid to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well for more great videos just like this. 
thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.